Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Joe Loveless. Joe, how you doing? I'm good. I'm really good. Glad to be here. So you're with Newstar. I am. And what do you do with Newstar? So I'm with Newstar and actually in the product marketing and strategy side for web performance and load testing, as well as some of our availability products around CypherTech, DDoS mitigation, and DNS routing services. Okay, so you know product product marketing and, and that sort of thing. We borrowed something from you, and it's uh, around this idea of performance theft. Yes. Can you talk about performance theft a little bit and what it means to you guys? Sure. So it, it comes through a, a particular point of view of looking at the market, and this this came out about 18 months ago. We looked at this and said, you know, there is a definitive tie between revenue and website performance. In fact, a lot of the risks that we had actually quantified through studies and working with customers show that it's anywhere from 1,600 to 5,600 a minute on average. So that, that tie between revenue and performance is a strategy that we drove. And as we looked at that, it became very clear to us that what robs a website of performance steals from the bottom line. And out came the concept of performance theft. And when you put those two words together, uh, it's appropriate. Right? It is a very negative place to be. Uh, you have an enormous amount of resources trying to drive a finite point, which is top performance. But you don't have an infinite budget to do that. So you've got to know where to put those investments and to be able to achieve the investment objectives that you're looking for. And to us, anything that robs from that is clearly performance theft. Okay, so knowing where to put your investments, that sounds like it's speaking to a CIO. Mm -hmm. How does the CIO know where to fix the performance theft? How, how does he find out, how do I fix this problem? So the CIO is aggregating it at a business level, right? So he's looking at the operational return because he's got to go up into QBRs and meet with CMOs, and the CIO has to stand up and talk about how marketing and IT are working together to drive a business objective. To that end, it's got to be quantified from the ground up. And this is where Newstar has worked to elevate its conversation from one of simply technology and performance into one of this has a purpose. And that purpose is to drive the finite result of better customer experience and greater sales conversions on the other end. And to that end, when you look at what CIOs are trying to do, right, which is not only justify themselves, but they need to know where the problems are. And, and, and understanding where those problems are throughout the entire spectrum of resources that go into performance is where Newstar has actually carved a strategy and really developed its offerings. An example would be, think about what goes into that stack. You've got coders, programmers, contractors, cables, hardware, data centers. There, you don't have all the money to do everything. What you need to know is where to apply that investment to be able to achieve the results. So where, where in this performance theft, who fixes it? So, is it the DevOps guys? Is it a performance architect or chief engineer of performance? Who is it that fixes the performance staff? So, yeah, so everybody has a bit of a piece to it. What's important is to be able to communicate those different pieces throughout the organization. Because on the aggregate, right, they yeah. build into performance. One of the examples that we like to look at is if you look at F1 Grand, uh, Grand Prix Racing, right, uh, they banned refueling them uh, last year, two years ago. So now cars run on a single tank of gas, which means that pit stops are now three seconds long. They change four tires in three seconds. It takes 27 people to do that. That really mirrors into the business environment where you have a large number of people achieving a singular finite result. And to that end, being able to communicate, identify, and more importantly, alert people in context when specific problems affect them that they can address across the whole. That aggregate is where that actually rolls up and creates better performance. So the 27 person team is spread around an organization and you guys have a way to unify it and bring it together? Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Excellent. So we also heard, hear from you about uh, multi-cloud load testing. Mm -hmm. Can you unpack that a little bit? I, I know load balancing, but multi-cloud load testing? Yeah, we're very excited about that. First of all, you've got to look at how the world is, has kind of transformed around us. It wasn't long ago when all of those resources in IT were inside a wall, if you will, behind four walls of glass protected by Halon. It was easy. People were connecting through 56K. Performance didn't matter. We're now very transparent, aren't we? We can now be benchmarked by competitors, can't we? And aren't we? And when you get into the issue of multi-cloud load testing, that's really about being able to see true performance results. So internal load testing was pretty good. That was a good step. Gave us some consistent results and, and some good high benchmarks to shoot for. When we got into cloud-based load testing, that was cool. We could now test from multiple regions, multiple locations, and put together an aggregate performance based on where we were actually targeting our performance, various regions around the world. The problem is that, no, like snowflakes, no two clouds are alike, right? 
You've got performance variances, different architectures, a lot of new technologies, new platforms. There are a lot of companies here in Silicon Valley that actually specialize in very particular technologies that feed into this portfolio of assets customers are using. You've got to be able to look through multiple lenses. You've got to eliminate the variances. We talked about investments. If you're chasing something that is actually idiosyncratic credit to a cloud, it's not a problem with your website. But you can eliminate that if you see that problem consistent across multiple clouds, that's a place where I invest to improve performance. So multi-cloud load testing, which we're excited about, we're rolling out next week, is very much about being able to create greater clarity, greater consistency, and higher reliability in not only the performance results, but where the investment has to go. Okay, so we know cloud's important, and it's going to be important to you guys in the future as well, and important to the industry. Mm -hmm. But one that's really the darling of the industry right now is mobile. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys do to address the mobile market and, and testing there as well? So this is exciting, right? Newstar's point of view is that mobile is the user, right? That it's not separated out from the user. When I, when I have my yeah. laptop bag with me, where I am, I've got an iPad, I've got two iPhones, and I've got my MacBook. I am the user, I am mobile. So mobile is the user. So what's important is to understand how those various devices are performing wherever that user is. And organizations, particularly if you look at retail, looking to capitalize on that mobile moment, right? Meaning that that point of interaction, no matter what it is, needs to be an efficient, agreeable experience to the end user. And it affects sales conversions. So our big thing is to really help provide a holistic view of what the mobile user. We want to capture that in both emulated browsing, where we can look and simulate and see the heartbeat of the website, but we also have very advanced real user measurements. And within real user measurements, you're able to actually capture not only what that user is doing and experiencing, but if you pair that with the marketing tool of something like Google Analytics, where you're looking at navigational behavior, you're seeing where people are spending time on the site, where they're going, how that performance is working, and you create an element of communication between marketing and IT that just allows you to get to unsurpassed performance. And what's important is that you're competing within your space. So if I look at large companies, shoe manufacturers don't have to be faster than steel producers. They need to be faster than other shoe manufacturers. And, and that kind of homogeny within the industry yeah. is an important place to not only benchmark, but make sure that the mobile user, wherever they are, is key. And when you move into the marketing strategy side, Mike, you move into things like multi-channel, where the customer is engaging in multiple points. And we've seen, if you look at some of the big retailers like Nordstrom, they come out and they tell you 18 to 20% list on multi-channel. So however that customer is engaging, you need to be there. Mobile is the user, and we have built and, and more importantly strategized to make sure that we can answer that experience for those consumers. Sounds exciting, Joe. So thank you for your time. And we look forward to seeing you at future Velocity events. I appreciate it, Mike. Glad Thank to you. be here.